All right, so in this demonstration, we're going to show you how to work with finders, which is a way to query uh, business objects in Oracle Fusion apps. So usually, if you have a REST service that gets information from Fusion apps like this one, and you get the information here, you might be tempted to use the Q parameter to query something. Now, in some cases, not all the properties are queryable. For example, here I'm going to try and fetch based on course reference. Now, if I send this request, you would see that I'm getting a return that says that course reference is not queryable. Okay, if I'll go and read the documentation for this specific REST service, which is what we have over here, okay, uh, one of the things you would see here beyond the Q parameter is that we have something called a finder, okay? And the finder is a way for you to query based on some of the other attributes, okay? There's built-in finders, for example, in this case, there's a finder called invoice search, okay? And then here's the list of properties I can query based on, and we can see the cross references over here. So instead of using over here the query syntax, I'm going to try and use the finder syntax, where the finder syntax, as I can see here, needs to be the finder name, which in our case is the invoice search, followed by the variable, equal, and a value. So we have the name, variable, equal, value. And let's send it now. And you can see that this is still not enough in this case. In this case, we also need to bind one of these attributes, okay, one more attribute into the finder, okay. So I'm going to bind another attribute here, which is the transaction source, okay, with a specific value, and I'm going to send this. And now I finally got my result for the specific course reference with this transaction source. So this was an, a little explanation about how finders work in various REST services in Fusion apps. Now, how do you actually use this in Visual Builder? Okay, so let's first copy this whole thing over here. Okay, and we're going to use this in Visual Builder. So we're going to create a new app UI extension. And we're going to add a new smart search page over here. Like that. And we're also going to set it so the search page is the default page here. And then we're going to edit this page. Okay, so we have a search slot. We're going to pick up an input a text component, for example, and just put it up here like that. And we're going to bind this to our search variable that we're going to create, search val. All right. Now over here, we want to get data from our invoice receivable. So we're going to go to our service catalog to the ERP, look up invoices, and we're going to pick up um, over here the receivable invoice and specifically these two endpoints here. All right, so now we can go back to our search page and from the data, drag and drop this into here, drop it for example as a table. And we're gonna pick up a few attributes and we're gonna pick up the Cross reference over here. I'm going to pick up the transaction source and we can pick up other stuff if we need to, for example, ship to sites or ship date, things like that. Now, over here, we can actually define a finder. Okay, so we're going to go over here and define our finder. I'm going to paste what we had before. Okay. But in this case, we don't just want a static thing. This part needs to be dynamic based on our search criteria. So I'm going to switch things a little bit around. I'm going to take this part and move it to the end. Remove the extra comma. I'm going to surround this whole thing with single quotes. Now note that for the values, we're using double quotes. Okay. 
And then instead of the fixed variable here, I'm just going to pick up whatever we have in the search var and add it over here at the end. Okay. Um, so this just added another double quotes here that I don't actually need. So I'm going to remove this. And then at the end, I'm going to again add a double quote inside a single quote like that. So this whole thing is an expression. Right. We click finish. And initially we don't have any data, but if we actually paste the value over here of a specific course reference, we can get the information over here. And this would work also for other values. So for example, if we don't have this course reference specific thing here, And we're just sending a query to figure out all the invoices that are receivable import. We can pick up another course reference. For example, if we scroll down and pick up over here uh, the property of course reference. Okay, this is a different number. And I can try it out here, paste this number, execute the query, and get the results. So this is how you use a finder. And again, the finder is something that is associated with your service data provider. It's one of the built-in parameters here. And you can basically put here any expression you would like in order to get the data.